Hi guys, I'm Will and I'm here today to talk to you about the Grimspeed Boost Control Solenoid Install for the 08 Plus WRX and LGT fitments. First we're going to start off by taking a look at what's in the box. Now when you open this up you're going to get our greeting card of course signed by whomever packaged this for you. Our wonderful Grim Speed sticker and the solenoid itself. Each bracket's going to be a little different depending on which fitment you have. Now what we're going to actually show you in this video is that there are two different brackets for the WRX and the LGT. So the tools we're going to need today for this install are a flathead screwdriver, a 10 millimeter wrench, um, a tool to cut a vacuum line, and of course a small pair of pliers and an excessively large box of 5 30 seconds back line. Now if you have the OA plus WRX, this is how your engine bay will look. If you have the LGT, you will need to remove the engine cover that goes over the top mount intercooler and intake manifold. Once we get this off, what we're going to look for is the little bracket that's sitting over the inlet to the turbo with two clips on it. It's a silver bracket. Now once this bracket is located, there are two electrical clips. We're going to remove both of them off of these two sensors. The one on the left is actually the OEM boost control solenoid. The one on the right is simply just going to stay on this bracket for now. Once that's removed, we're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench or socket and loosen up this bolt holding the boost control solenoid to the bracket. Simply hand unscrew the bolt once it's broken free. And you're going to want to take a flathead screwdriver and pop off the inside hose on this. When you pop off the inside hose, the whole assembly should just pop right out. And there you go looks like an alien. Once that's done, we're going to look in front of the turbo, back to the left of the top mount intercooler. Over here is where we're going to find the OEM T between the compressor housing nipple and the wastegate nipple. There's the T. Now to pull this off, we're going to use our pliers and simply undo these clips that are holding the vac lines onto the nipples. Be careful not to pinch the nipples. This is where we're going to take the flathead screwdriver and use it to push the vac lines off of the nipples. Please try not to gouge or scratch or cut into the nipples. Once this assembly is apart, you're going to just yank it on out of there. Now, don't throw away the whole thing as we're going to need this connector right here. The first fitment we're going to show you is for the 08 WRX. Now, this bracket is a silver bracket that actually mounts on top of your OEM BCS bracket. It's going to fit over like that, so the groom speed solenoid actually sits right on top. The bolt we're going to use, we're actually going to put in upside down now and screw back through as the nut is now on top. Now for our LGT, the setup's going to be a little different. We're going to need to take our 10 millimeter wrench and unscrew the nut that is on the other sensor connected to the OEM BCS bracket. You will not need to remove the sensor or move it around at all. Um, the LGT bracket, as you see here, is black. It's shaped a little differently. That's going to go just right on top of it. Now, the reason this is shaped differently and we mount it in a different location is so that it sits underneath the engine cover. Now starting to mount this up, we're going to want to make sure to tighten down either the nut or bolt that we attached our bracket with. Make it nice and tight. After this is tightened down, we're going to want to take the pigtail that's connected to the BCS 
and we're going to want to slip it underneath the bracket so that way it's hidden away and not in the way of the engine cover if you have one and it's just aesthetically a little more pleasing. Then we're going to take the OEMT that we removed and actually remove the sizing connector between these two back lines. We're going to go back to the OEM solenoid and we're going to remove that bottom vac hose. We will use this again. This is going to actually mount back into the stock location down here. That is on the inlet. We're going to put the sizer back into this location. Finally, we're going to cut a short piece of vacuum line to run between this sizing connector and our actual BCS. Now this one that is running off of the inlet and back to the BCS is going to go to port 1, which in this scenario is going to be on the right. Once that is run, we're going to take another cut section of vacuum line and we're going to be running off the middle port, which is port 3 on our BCS. Once this is run, as you can see here, it's tucked underneath the intake manifold going back towards the turbo. Now once it gets back here, our goal is to run it through near where the intercooler connects to the turbo. This line will then be run to the turbo inlet nipple. So the turbo inlet nipple is running through vacuum line to line number three on the BCS, which is the middle. Now here we're going to take another section of cut vacuum line and run underneath the intake manifold just as we did for the last one. This will be connecting to port number two, which is the bottom or left hand side of our BCS. Now you'll probably need about the same distance of vacuum line here as we're running to the waste gate. Now rattling this back underneath these hoses is going to be very tight. Once you get this through there, it's a pretty straight shot right onto the nipple. Now all you have to do is make sure that all your lines are tucked away nice and safe. And take the OEM plugs and plug them into their respective ports. Our pigtail is a perfect match for the OEM Subaru connector. And there you go, you're done. It's all installed and ready to go. Just make sure you get a tune. You also might want to go back through and tighten everything up with some zip ties on every connection. This will ensure a good seal. You can also reuse the OEM clamps on some of the hoses if need be.